Welcome back, Visual Learner. I'm going to illustrate how you can construct an equilateral triangle out of um, any rectangle. First of all, this is just a standard 8.5 by 11 sheet. I've already prepared uh, this crease by moistening the edge with my, my finger. I put saliva on the tip of my finger and by moistening that edge I can create an edge which uh, is ready to cut when you see I'm trying to uh, show you that it'll, it'll start to show a clear white line on this crease and that means that it's ready to, um, to cut but since the paper has been sitting there for a while. Let's see if it'll cut. Ah, it's a little bit tough yet. So I'm going to moisten it some more. Moisten it, turn it over. I'm cutting off this strip if only to emphasize that um, You can cut, you can create the um, equilateral triangle from any rectangle. It, it is not necessary that you use a uh, eight and a half by eleven. However, as you'll see in a moment, I do want uh, for this project. I do want uh, to maintain the width of eleven because I'm going to uh, put a challenge to you. So let's get started. I will uh, bisect the, the height of this uh, rectangle in the following manner. Oh, by the way, see when you cut as I did with the um, creasing and then moistening the edge, you get a beautiful uh, clean uh, cut, which you can never get that kind of cut with scissors. Besides, um, in a classroom, uh, scissors may be uh, a tool that you um, can't afford or actually can be dangerous. So uh, using uh, a wet fingertip uh, becomes a, a wonderful way of creating a, a beautiful edge. Okay, so we first we fold it the long way. Yes, simply here. And Please excuse that out of focus issue. Um, that's just the nature of this um, lens that I have. So I'm going to mark a point there. And it should have a bled through. Now, this point is going to land on this crease. And the corresponding edge, which I'm touching, has to go through this vertex, which I'm pointing to with my left hand. So I patiently and incrementally create a triangle, like so, making sure that the vertex falls on this um, center line. Go increase it hard. Okay, so let me discuss just a, uh, um, a few of the properties of this triangle. Because it's a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, the base is one half the hypotenuse. Remember, this base, also called the leg, or in this case, it's specifically the short leg versus the long leg, the short leg is one half of the hypotenuse. Another way to say it is that if this is one, if the short leg is one, then the hypotenuse is two. Okay, keep that in mind because that's true for all 3060 triangles. So let's go and start doing the, um, the second part to show a single um, we're going to construct a, um, an equilateral triangle. So 
what I'm doing now is I'm falling back and making the edge of my sheet um, collinear with the edge of the triangle. And the same thing here, the, the crease must fall exactly on the edge of the triangle that we created up front, like this. Okay, let me turn it around so you can see some of the uh, features. So you see there's a, um, well, that could, that's a side, it's also a base. This is a side, because the bases are all um, the same, they, they, are all, they are all the same length. That is the quality or the property of an equilateral triangle. All the sides are equal. Now let me fold this um, extraneous material back so that we don't see it. And again, it's fairly easy because if you fold back and make the edges congruent with uh, the edge of the triangle, then it folds very nicely. And let's take this. Um, let's fold it the other way. Here again, we can use that moisture on your tip of the finger because we're going to break this fold. We want to fold the triangle in the opposite direction. And this helps the triangle fold that way. Here we go. So now we have a very, um, I don't know, I find these very beautiful to look at because there's, uh, there's so much symmetry in this, iso um, in this equilateral triangle. And um, there's something very beautiful about uh, this uh, equilateral, about all equilateral triangles. And I think it's because they are so symmetrical. All right. But that's, that's not the challenge for you. The challenge is this. I want you to notice something. Let's see, how can I emphasize it? You notice that this triangle was almost another equilateral triangle, except that it came up short. Perhaps I can demonstrate it better this way. Notice that there's a little 3060 triangle missing. Now, uh, what I want you to work on, and uh, you can uh, post it as a comment once you figure this out, what I want you to figure out is you keep keep the, the 11 inches, but what is the height of this rectangle? What must the height be? But more importantly is how do you do that? How do you figure out the height so that when you fold this together, you get two, two equal equilateral triangles? That's the challenge. Now, obviously, I'm going to actually uh, publish the solution, but um, I hope I on your honor that you will work on this problem and let me know if you solved it and uh, tell me what the height is the height of this uh, rectangle has to be given that the width is 11 okay given that the width is 11 what is the height of the rectangle so that you can fold two identical equilateral triangles so that's it that's the challenge good luck See you in the next tutorial.